Welcome to the ACHR Newsroom. I'm Hannah Baloli, Business Development Editor for the ACHR News, and here's a recap of the industry's latest headlines. HVACR giant Emerson has a new name. More accurately, it's returning to an old name, Copeland. Emerson made news last fall when it announced it was selling off its climate technologies division to investment firm Blackstone Inc. The $14 billion acquisition was completed on May 31st. Emerson retains a 40% stake in the new standalone company, now called Copeland, in a nod to that brand's 100-year legacy. Copeland's product line includes compressors, controls, thermostats, valves, software, and monitoring equipment for the residential, commercial, and industrial HVACR markets. The spinoff is seen by analysts as a vote of confidence in Emerson's climate technologies division and the future of the HVACR industry as a whole. Brian Loftus, market research and benchmarking analyst at Hardy, commented, Blackstone's investment is confirmation that the electrification growth story is real. Matt Michel, the recently retired president of ServiceNation Inc., called the sale further confirmation that the financial world has recognized the resilience of the HVAC industry. He said, while HVAC may lack the wow factor of some of the tech flavors of the day, we perform on a steady basis. The introduction of ChatGPT, the artificial intelligence language model launched last November, has already changed the way that millions of people are thinking about content creation. If an HVACR contractor is thinking about incorporating ChatGPT into their workflow, there are a few important things to keep in mind. The ACHR News talked to several marketing consultants who specialize in the trades for a list of do's and don'ts. First, experiment with it. ChatGPT is only as good as the parameters you feed it, so instead of using the first piece of content it generates, users should play around with different types of questions. Charlie Parham, CEO of Pepco Sales and Marketing said, if you ask it how to write a marketing email to homeowners, it's going to give you one thing. And then if you add in that they are affluent homeowners or homeowners in an emergency situation, that experiment is really going to help you out. Second, don't just copy and paste AI-generated content onto your website. Google prefers content written by actual humans. It can figure out if something was written by AI, and it'll devalue that website in response. McKenna Harless, marketing strategist at Lemon Seed Marketing, said, Right now we love using ChatGPT to give us clever caption ideas for social media or different call to action ideas we hadn't thought of before, but be cautious of just copying and pasting whatever it writes. Third, Treat ChatGPT like a tool, because at the end of the day, that's exactly what it is. And just like any tool used in the field, it should be paired with other forms of content creation that already have proven their value. Parham said so far, ChatGPT has been most useful for reformatting existing content for various different purposes, like rewriting website text for Instagram, Twitter, and email. Insulation is a critical element to indoor comfort. However, it's often overlooked because it's not seen or heard and lacks a replacement timeline. Insulation advocates say that this appears to be the case with the U.S. Department of Energy Savings Hub website, launched in April to inform Americans about new energy efficiency tax credits. Industry groups, including the North American Insulation Manufacturers Association, Insulation Contractors Association of America, Cellulose Insulation Manufacturers Association, and others, have penned a letter prompting a plea to U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm to correct the oversight. Their letter states, The reader must delve deep into the Savings Hub website to learn that a robust tax credit is available for insulation and air sealing upgrades. Moreover, they will find no mention of the ability of homeowners to take the 25C tax credit for both insulation improvements and qualifying heat pump upgrades in the same year. The letter writers want homeowners to know they need to insulate their homes before installing a new heat pump. Otherwise, their heating and cooling costs could dramatically increase, or they could end up installing oversized or undersized equipment, reducing both efficiency and comfort. For more on these stories and all the latest on HVACR contracting, visit our website at www.achrnews.com and follow us on social media. I'm Hannah Baloli. Thank you for watching.